Hello my friends, my name is Forge and welcome back to our brand new video. So a few weeks ago we looked at a Minecraft add-on which implements a working music player within the settings screen of your game. And well today I'm going to be showing you the new update which is 2.1.0. Now Age of Mindstorm, we went ahead and made it to where you can now go and put in custom music which is really great because if you ever wanted to go and listen to a song while you're playing Minecraft then you would just have to go and load up a web page and go ahead and listen to it that way. But no longer do you have to do that because it's now built within the game. It's really cool. So if I go ahead and click on settings and I go all the way down to global resources, I went ahead and activated it. Plus I have two other ones as well. So the music plus pack is what we're going to be looking at. I'm going to go ahead and click on the gear icon and you need to make sure that's on custom music. It is going to be on default, but you can just go ahead and switch to native music. Yeah, festive music, no water music, the old music, old music plus, custom music, total mix and then no automatic music. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on custom music because that's what today's video is all about. But I'm going to go ahead and show you that all this all works because if I go ahead and pop up where the research packs are, this is basically the research pack for Music Plus and it can be found in your com.mojang resource packs folder. If I click on this, as you can see, we have ourselves our custom songs. Now you can have a total of 25 custom songs and the way that I have it named out, that's exactly how you have to name it, 1 through 25. So basically what you have to do is you have to go ahead and download the song that you want and then you go ahead and convert that song to a .ogg. Then you go back and put that inside that folder. Then you go ahead and rename it. Okay. It's actually a very simple process and if you want to go and learn a little bit more about it in detail, you will find a link down below to Agent Mindstorm's video where he does actually give you a detailed tutorial on how everything works. He goes in and talks about the Android side and the iOS side as well which is really great. But anyway, if this is going to look at this. So if I go and pause the game and I go down the settings, on the very top, we have music player. But now we have ourselves show custom songs. So if I click on this, it's going to go and show the custom songs that you have implemented. Like as I mentioned, there is a total of 25 they can have on here. It's really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and select a song that I went in and downloaded. I downloaded four songs. So if I click on song one, go ahead and take a listen. Now, if you want to go and stop any of the music from playing, the only way that you can go and do that is if you go ahead and do this command right here, the slash stop sound. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then you're going to go ahead and go back inside of there and go ahead and change the song that way. If, or you can just go and wait for the song to end. I mean, it's pretty much up to you. So anyway, we also got ourselves custom song too. We have custom song three. And then we have song four. Now it's also recommended that you go ahead and turn your main game music all the way down to zero or else it's going to go and get a little bit in your way when you are listening to the songs that you want. But with that one, that is actually pretty much it about what this reach pack does introduce to us. And I like this quite a bit. It's actually very cool because now you can just go ahead and download your favorite songs, go ahead and convert them, and then you can just go ahead and listen to them from directly inside of the game without having to worry about loading up a bunch of web pages or saving bookmarks or anything like that. And instead, you can just go ahead and have it directly inside the game. And you can just go swap them out anytime that you want, which is also pretty cool. But anyway, I do want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments of what you think of this. And if you enjoyed today's video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, I hope you have a logical day, and I will catch you next time. Bye!